decide for this video what we're going to do is we're going to find a cubic regression equation um, for this data set using desmos.com and I already know that it's a cubic data set um, but I will show you what you should look for in the scatter plot so that you know that it's a cubic pattern. So with this what we're going to do is we're going to take this data and enter it into Desmos. So um, we want to make sure that all of our ordered pairs line up that negative 1 goes with negative 5, negative 0.33 goes with negative 0.11 etc. So let me open up the Desmos and what we're going to do is we're going to add a table and for this, notice that it says x sub 1 and y sub 1. So you want to make sure that you pay attention to those when you're coming up with your model so that you use the same variables. So we're going to type in negative 1, negative 0.33, negative, I'm oh, sorry, I looked at the y coordinate, 0, 0.532, 2 2.7. And then we're going to go to the Y column and put all of our Y coordinates. And as I start entering things in, you'll notice that it starts putting in the scatter plot, the points into our graph. All right, and so with this, if you look at this, you would be hesitant to fit a line to this because of the fact that um, they're kind of all over the place. There's really no pattern to it. So you could always start um, by trying a line first to see what the equation looks like. So you could start with your y sub 1 and do your tilde um, mx plus b. But if you look at this, you can see that this is the line of best fit that they put in here. But only... Um, 4% of the data is explained by this. So our R is negative 0.2, which means that there's basically no correlation between these as far as a line goes. So you would not want to use a linear model for this. So what I want to do is I want to look at another model. Um, we could look at and see, okay, well, maybe we want to put in um, a quadratic model. Maybe we think quadratic would be the, a better model. So we're going to type in BX1 plus C. And, oops, sorry, I forgot to put plus C. I used the wrong, I have to do shift on that one. So plus C, and we can see that only 8% of our data is explained by this. So again, we definitely couldn't use a quadratic model with this one. So now what I want to do is let's look at a cubic model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to a 3, and I'm going to put a squared on this one. And then I'm going to go and add x1 plus a D. And so if you look at this, you can see that this is almost perfectly um, goes through all of those points. We can see that R squared is 0.9997, which means that 99.97% of the data fits this model. So when you're looking at models, a lot of times what you do is you fit various models to it to see which one is the best. And the one with the highest R squared is always going to be your best. And then what you would do is you would just report the equation that is formed by this data set. So we would just plug in our A, our B. Um, we would take these numbers here and plug them in for A, B, C, and D. And so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to round to um, four decimal places. So we would just write this down that Y is approximately 3.1104 X to the third power minus 6.2921 x squared minus 5.3360x, and let me move over just a little bit, minus 0.9737. So this would be the equation that models this data set to four decimal places. And if you were asked what is the variability, you would put that r squared is approximately 0.9997, which means that 99.97% of this data is explained by this model. So um, Desmos is a really good tool to help you come up with um, different types of regression equations. And you can look at the r squared value very easily to see which model is the best. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.